In front of me, I actually met a, a born-again believer of Jesus Christ here down in, in um, Salt Lake at the conference in April. And uh, Brian, I just got to ask you a question. We're talking about the resurrection today. Mm -hmm. And for, um, for the Christian body, we, we really know that the resurrection changed everything, right? right? How did it change everything um, from your view, from your point of view as, as a Christian? Well, I, uh, I was a slave of sin. Okay. God uh, saved me, regenerated me, and uh, presented his truth to me and enabled me to believe in Jesus. Jesus said that uh, if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. Exactly. And he also said uh, in John 6, 29, uh, when the Jews asked him, uh, what must we be doing to do the works of God? Jesus said, this is the work of God, that you believe, believe. on him. The He's will. Whom he has sent. The work and will of God. You're yeah, right. right. Praise God. Um, so when you're looking at the resurrection, did it change everything with the new covenant? Do we revert back to the old, like the Old Testament, the old laws? No. No. We don't. The old do is it. passing away. The old passed away. Right. So when you're looking at the old, I, there's a great scripture here. And, and do you believe in this? It says for, in Galatians 2, 20, it says, For I, through the law, died to the law that I might live in God. And I do not nullify the grace of God, for if a righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died for nothing. Y you're right. He died in, in vain. In vain. You're right. Yes. And so we don't revert back to the law. No. So do you, when you see a lot of LDS people right here, do you believe that they have actually reverted back to the law? Or that Jesus wasn't fulfilling the law? What is your, your opinion Well, I that? mean, I think that's true. The, the, the truth is, that because they have not been born again, they are just continuing in a, a legalistic understanding of God, which was an Old Testament understanding, Old Covenant. Uh, the Old Covenant was, you know, uh, the law came through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Exactly. So, w w basically, they're trying to, by works, laws, ordinances, commandments, trying to earn salvation. The Bible says that if it, if it comes through the law, works, then it's no longer of grace. Yeah. It's a debt. It's, it's completely Romans, different. Romans 4. A different sort of relationship that you have with Jesus, yeah. right? It's um, because it's more work-based rather than... It is totally work-based. Grace-based. Yes. It's yeah. not grace-based. Yeah. yeah. So now, um, you know, an interesting thing that I've noticed with LDS, they have the third article of faith, mm -hmm. and they says that you may be saved by by. Uh, by the atonement of Jesus Christ by following the laws and ordinances of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a big conflict with the Christian body and when we when we see that and we sense that after Jesus did everything that he did for us? Well just as oil and water do not mix, grace and works do not mix. Yeah. Grace is grace and works are works. Yeah. And we are either saved through the through the works of of Christ, the completed work of Christ, or we are saved uh, by works and, yeah. and the only way we can be saved by works is to keep the law perfectly which yeah. obviously none of us can do and we know if we fail at one we part of the law we fail it, it all, all we right? failed it all so yeah, that's what we understand so when you're looking at and the reason why you're here today mm -hmm. is for what reason to try to help people to understand the God of the Bible to put the God yes, of grace sure. to plead with people to uh, to put their trust in the finished work of Christ. Yeah, he says, it is finished. The debt is paid to tell us that. Yeah. Um, it's not, you know, all. it's not after all you can do that grace comes in. It's yeah. grace or nothing. Grace or nothing. Yeah. 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 Praise God. And we know as believers that, yes, you know, I mean, you always see in, in this um, this environment, and I've talked to a lot of LDS people, they says, well, you know, faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. but we know that as believers, faith works. <laughs> exactly. We, we love the Lord a lot. You see, I can have, um, well, I don't have that sign with me, but we have a sign that says, um, works without faith is sin. Yeah. Whatever is done, it's not done in faith is sin. Yeah. So if I work, but I don't have faith, exactly. then it's sin. But if I work as a result of having faith, and I show my faith by my works, then I am truthfully following uh, what God has told me to do. Praise God. Yes. Yeah, and you're obeying Him. And, I'm obeying And you're doing zealous zeal works. But, but I'm a child of God. I'm not, yeah. well, I'm not working to become a child of God. I'm working as a result of being a child of God. Praise God. Works are not the root of my faith. They are the fruit of my faith, of Perfect. my salvation. Yes. Praise God. Brian, you're awesome.
It was such a, a delight to meet a born again Christian here down at uh, Same here. at conference, April conference, 2015. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.